we are on standby. We've uh, prepared the building to accept those species of animals, and we are just waiting. SeaWorld is part of the Oiled Wildlife Care Network, which is a coordinated effort by animal care facilities in California to respond to injured and ill animals. Kim Peterson is the rescue supervisor at SeaWorld. She says the team is on standby as long as they are needed. SeaWorld San Diego is going to be taking in uh, affected turtles, sea turtles, and um, any cetaceans or dolphins that come uh, uh, that land up on the beach. More than 100,000 gallons of crude oil is estimated to have spilled into the ocean off Orange County. Wildlife conservation experts are warning the oil spill is of extreme concern to migrating seabirds. The executive director of the Oiled Wildlife Care Network says only four birds have needed rescue efforts, but warns it may be weeks, two months, until we see the full effects of the spill and more animals are likely to be recovered. The animals come into us in such dire need. Um, a lot of them wouldn't make it if we didn't uh, if we weren't here to help them. Peterson describes the delicate care that goes into saving these animals covered in toxic oil. So you'd think that getting the oil off would be the very first thing we did, but it's actually not the first thing. The first thing is to support them, their health, um, and make sure that they're strong enough to survive the stress of being washed. And then removing the oil is a lot of elbow grease and uh, dishwashing liquid and water. Peterson says there's no better feeling than releasing a sea animal back to the ocean once it has fully recovered. SeaWorld's 8,000 square foot care center can hold up to 200 sea otters and 200 seabirds at one time. Alexandra Rangel, KPBS News.